So I'm recording on my MacBook, which is the I've never done this before. I've never done a video on here. So I'm hoping it all goes well. I haven't uploaded anything to YouTube since I started this channel cuz I don't I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to say. Life is just I feel like I wake up every day and it's a continuous cycle of me trying to figure out what my next step is. I spent the last like three or four days being really sad, mostly because I've come to realize that a lot of my thoughts and memories that I thought that I knew and I've like thought about and put them to bed. I just haven't and unfortunately I feel like for a lot of people we think that recovery and like trauma and the things we've gone through like once we think about them and acknowledge them that you know I acknowledged it so it's it's not gonna bother me anymore and that's just not how it is I was trying to explain this to someone who's my friend a couple of days ago and how like a lot of my responses in my daily life are directly tied to fears and or the neglect I experienced as a child and furthermore just how I let that play into my role growing up I'm an adult now I'm, I'm almost 21 and I just have these things and ways of my life that are implicated that aren't mine these are actions that people have taken towards me or that I've observed and truly really, we really are a collection of every good and bad thing that really has happened to us and when you don't have a lot of experiences in your childhood that were necessarily great you have all of these lack thereof of feelings and experiences in areas that are vital for our understanding of communications with people and understanding how our trauma really leaks in to our everyday lives. So as much as like I want to go on and ramble about my life, it's just not something that I want to talk about in this video. There are a lot of different aspects of my life that I really want to touch base on. But I just feel like I have this irrational fear and or push in me every single day that is like you have to be perfect and you have to have like a perfect explanation and the things that you say you have to be 100% sure of because there's people's lives involved and at the end of the day a lot of the things in my perspective and the things that I felt are mine. I can't keep continuing my life thinking that just because people put me through situations that I have to continue to protect them because I know that it makes them uncomfortable to speak about it. It's not my place. And it's like that one famous quote, I see it everywhere nowadays and I'm glad that more people are coming to this realization that like, if people didn't want you to speak about the actions and how they treated you, then maybe they shouldn't have treated you that way. And unfortunately, like there are a lot of people out there who treat us badly and some of them are genuinely, they feel bad. But at the end of the day, just because you feel bad doesn't justify means of the cause. So, I would like to just discuss the fact that I'm trying to move forward in my life. And in that, it's waking up every single day and accepting my reality as it is. And I'm sad. I am literally sad almost every single day of my life, and it's so hard. Like, I feel like I'm constantly lying to people in my life because I have no idea of what direction I want to go in, and it's so hard because I see people living these lives that I want to be living and doing things that I want to be doing, like traveling and experiencing places that I can't even imagine going to, and that's been my entire life. I feel like I've made up these fantasy worlds in my head of just like imagining situations that I would like to happen and that I think in my head so that I feel better about being where I am 
and in reality, it's just escapism. And as much as I want to imagine my reality, and I really do believe that, like, in our understanding that our daily lives and our thoughts and the things that we understand about ourselves do create the future that we are looking to find. In that same sense, I can't keep pretending that my life is something that it's not. I can't keep pretending like I've moved forward and I've completely put to bed these irrationalities and these fears about my own life and about my fear of addiction and my fear of being homeless and my fear of not having enough money and to be able to provide for myself. These are like everyday fears and it's like I want to be doing YouTube and talking about my life but it's like how do you glamorize life when it's not glamorous and that is I feel what my life has come to is just like I feel like I'm like hiding the parts of my life that are like just really ugly because I don't think people are wanting to see them and I guess I'm just getting past the point of caring I just don't care I guess I want to share more of who I am of my fears of my insecurities and I'm tired of like not wanting to film because like I'm gonna like one I'm gonna fix this because it's making me uncomfortable I'm like looking at myself and my viewfinder on my my computer and I'm just in my head picking out things that I feel look wrong and that I wouldn't want to display and or post on YouTube because I don't want people seeing me in a certain light. Whether that's like my teeth being crooked, my boobs looking weird, uh, my hair looking a mess. Like I look like, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what I look like if I'm unhappy. And that's what I'm coming to know is like, I, I know that I'm beautiful. I know that I can paint myself as this pretty picture that people want to look at and granted so I'm so glad that I can do that but I feel like my entire life has consisted of me painting myself in a certain light to make other people more comfortable with my existence and that's not my job it's not my job to create myself so that you can you know take in what I am I am who I am and if that is too much for you then go find less I, I, I'm not here to provide you a watered down version of who I am. I am, I'm loud, I get paranoid, I am daily upset about life and the things that go on and the systems that are in place. It's not just me being angry about my life. There are things that I've seen within living in abuse and around people who abuse certain things. I've seen the problem. I've seen poverty, I've seen racism, I've seen the systems that people talk about avidly and then other people want to disregard and it's like, I see the problems and I'm tired of being part of the system that just chooses to show what we want to show. It's not my life, it's not who I am, and I'm not this picturesque human being. I get a lot of messages from people constantly telling me like oh like you're such an inspiration like you just seem to have like all your shit together and like you have it figured out if you've stayed to watch to this point I am here to tell you that I don't think any single person on this earth has anything figured out <laughs> I think that's why we're fucking seeing millionaires and billionaires trying to launch themselves into space because we don't know and we're constantly figuring out the next step of what we don't know. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you just have to focus on being here right now and that's being active in the uncomfortable aspects of your life. Like I, I'm really not gonna lie, I started recording this video because it's been really hard for me the last couple of days because I do suffer from self-harm or I have in the past I haven't recently which I'm really proud of myself where I haven't taken you know acts onto my body that just aren't necessary and aren't needed because of some subconscious thought that I need to hurt myself to feel a certain way or to feel something I suffer with that a lot and so I wanted to just be here and actively talk about the fact that I'm just frustrated and those subconscious thoughts are coming from 
me feeling disappointed in myself and feeling like I'm not where I want to be or feeling like I'm not going to get to where I want to be. We all actively have these fears about our lives because it comes from thoughts that aren't even ours of at one point people telling us that we weren't going to succeed or telling us that the things that we wanted were not obtainable. In reality, it's our own mentality that's going to keep us from doing whatever we want to. Having the thoughts and continuing to push them and like not allowing ourselves to just recognize that sometimes things just suck. Life is hard and you have these moments that are going to come and they're going to feel like they're literally crushing you. But it's like two weeks later you come to realize that that exact moment that you felt like it was like this is my breaking point, this is the stone cast at my glass house, like this is going to be it. And then it's this revolutionary moment for you where you've you've broken through this sadness and the storm you know it's it's the aftermath and you you see the repercussions of this choice or this thing that had tumbling effects for your life but landed you exactly in the direction that you needed to be going and I understand that like it's really hard to look at certain aspects of your life and be like, oh, well, that happened for a reason. I, I literally know. There are so many instances in my life that, like, I still look back on now. And I'm just like, why? For what was that for? In reality, there are some things that we don't know. And we need to understand that a lot of our karma and a lot of the things that happen to us don't always have to do with us. It happens to do with the soul contracts, which is just the involvements that we have with the people who are in our lives, whether that be our mom, our dad, our siblings, boyfriends, significant others, whatever you want to call them. It's these relationships that we have with people. Fundamentally, we are not only lessons for ourselves, we are lessons for other people. And so a lot of the times when we feel this disconnect of like, well, why the fuck is this happening to me right now? It's not necessarily just for you. Collectively, we all are trying to obtain the same thing and it's an understanding of who we are that's it and like as soon as we start to realize that that that's all we really are is just trying to be connected and understand one another and from a different perspective I feel like that's when I personally started moving forward is when I could stop looking at situations and being like why is the situation happening to me and sort of looking at it of what is it doing for me and for the people around me no matter what how fucked up it was so yeah, that's, I think that's going to be the video. I'm going to stop it there because I don't want to just keep yammering on. There are things that I fundamentally just have to do in my life and actually take initiative in, which is like stupid, dumb priorities like returning tags on my old car and paying it off and or, you know, figuring out if I actually want to go back to college sincerely and not just because everyone else is telling me that that's the best choice for me or doing youtube and actually allowing myself to do youtube instead of just judging myself based on the content that i think i'm going to be able to put out we all have to take steps in just allowing ourselves to exist outside of these thoughts that aren't even necessarily ours so thank you if you've watched this far I'm really just trying to be more honest with my life. I want to be... Not what people believe that I am, but for the people who sincerely look at me and come to me and tell me that I'm this, like, force that they believe in and that gives them hope to continue to do things that they do in their lives, to just keep going. That's all I've ever wanted to be in my life. That's all I've ever wanted to do. I just want to help people. I want to talk about my life and the shit that goes on because a lot of people just don't. So, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. <laughs> Thanks, and if you take anything from this video, sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. Doing fine though. I'll see you guys later.